Hello, one and all, this is a Wolfstar Gaming. It's Anton Savatin, and welcome back to more Robotics Notes Elite. Last time, we got to see things from uh, the Frau's perspective, and uh, we also got her to join the Robot Club. And where we are right now, we're just right after that. It's like she, she's hung up on us, so she's, as Kaito said, and just like that, she's gone. <laughs> I, I'm willing to bet that Kaito could say the same thing about Akio. I mean, it, they're two different people, obviously, but it's like they both have different kind of vibes to them. <laughs> <laughs> Subaru, you want to chime in here? <laughs> Might want to rephrase that. Rephrase that. Kanpai! <laughs> it's like, I actually have a glass of water with me, so Kanpai! <laughs> Akio raises the skull she's she'd been holding in her hand up into the air and chugs it. <laughs> she really likes her skull, doesn't she? <laughs> Akio is the only one to make a big show of things. Someone has to. In fact, Subaru and I already sipped from our drinks. <laughs> only kinda amazing, Juna. I mean, I I'm sure she'll warm up to it more. Almost everyone. Who do you think isn't super talented, Juno? That's right. So she does play Kill Ballad then? I mean, that, of course, that's not surprising. I, I mean, Kaito did say at the beginning of the game that millions of people play it. Oh. Aww. It's like, Juna, you are talented. I mean, you... You have karate under your belt. That's a talent. That can be a talent. And, you know, with her knowledge of urban legends... You know, that may not be exactly a talent, but it's always good to be knowledgeable about something. And for her, it just happens to be urban legends. It, it's like, why is she putting herself down because of that? It's like, she, I mean, yeah, it's a hobby for her, but she... she Shouldn't feel like she's, you know, not contributing enough to the robot club. But she actually has. You know, if it wasn't for her uh, Super Renpei move that 
we managed to uh, work into the Tanigashi machine with the Robo One event. You know, we got that from her, so... And... And it was basically from her that we got the idea of putting the uh, Kill Ballad code into the hobby robot. So it's like she's she contributed a lot in a very short amount of time. At least I think so. So it's like she is talented. She is useful. Why, Juna, are you putting yourself down? <laughs> of course you are, Akio. Nande Akichanga Tagiri no sa. Sono san nin chu jin kakuni mundayari nanoga san ni irukedo. Could say the same thing about you, Kaito. It's like your personality <laughs> leaves a little to be desired. Yeah, I'm including myself. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe I called that. Demo, <laughs> It is still amazing. Yes. So I, I, at least he is not denying that. It's like, I, I give him, you know, props for calling himself out. Yep, still including myself. <laughs> yes. By the way, Akio still hasn't noticed that Juna didn't include her on her list of super talented people. Granted, Akio's not exactly talented, so I get it. She she has her robots. I mean, it takes skill to and dedication to put together a robot. So I'd consider that a talent. <laughs> ガンツクワンの方も全力投球で行こう。とりあえずそのすごい人だらけのロボブ全員でスペースアミシャに乗り込むべき。All <laughs> but <laughs> let's all but over to the candy company. スポンサーになってくださいってアピールするの。明日とかどう？ yeah, now that uh, our numbers have grown, maybe now uh, Michi's uncle will give us a sponsor. Maybe? <laughs> of course. Oh, but you are, Juna. You are amazing. It's like it, she, she has a little bit of an of an inferiority complex, doesn't she? It it just seems like it. And yeah, she, she needs to break out of her shell. She needs something. To break out of her shell, at least. Frau, of course, doesn't respond. <laughs> What's wrong, Akiho? Akiho's passion dissolves into into the air after she fails to get anyone else fired up. <laughs> I like this quirky music. She's in her 
uh, Yi. Uh, for a second there, I was forgot the name of the karate uh, get uh, get up. Yeah, it's called a Gi. Oh, why is she uh, banking everything on Juna? She's so nervous. What the the super inpei move? Is that what we're referring to? Super uh, Okay, it is. Super inpei I I'm surprised that Akiho forgot the name of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she has performance uh, issues, doesn't, doesn't she? It's like, she looks so nervous here. Aww. I, but, uh, you know, Michi's uncle, uh, I'm trying to remember his name, I've forgotten already. Um, he looks uh, jovial enough right now, at least in this CG. I came here all fired up and ready to get a sponsorship, but... Hey! June is the only one who came with me. I'm surprised Kaito didn't go. I can understand it with Subaru because, you know, he declares himself as a silent member of the group, but... I I figured Kaito would go for the free candy. <laughs> if he could get any. Oh, uh, Kaito is there. Okay. Kai, Kai, Kai is here, but he found an all-you-can-eat candy section in the lobby and won't step foot outside of it. <laughs> okay, he, he got uh, distracted. <laughs> As for Subaru and Fraubo, <laughs> I, I can't get over that nickname for Frau. But they didn't even call. <laughs> the freaking parrot. Hey, <laughs> Taro. I. Maybe with Akiho, but not with Juna. Not so much, anyway. After explaining our club's glorious history of highs and lows, we were turned down because we lacked impact. But today was going to be different. Today, they'd see our true potential. Or at least, that was the plan. Hiya! Oh my god. Hey, uh, Michi's uncle, can we put the parrot in another room? June's voice is overshadowed by the sexual harassment parakeet. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. The CEO is pretty fit, since Michi is a PE teacher. I figured it might make sense to do something more physical. Okay, I, I could kind of see that, although oh, <laughs> Michi's uncle doesn't look particularly fair. I mean, he's a big guy. The problem is that the first time I saw Jun do karate, impact was not the word that came to mind. Honestly, she looks super weak. Why is that one a question mark? What? 
Might as well pack it up. Impacta! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's right, that's his name, Sumio. Okay. So what's next then? Campaign girl? Um, what exactly do you have in mind with her being a campaign girl? Hey, Juna doesn't know how to take this. Uh oh, well, this is an unexpected turn of events. I didn't think this CEO was looking for a weak woodling creature like June. I'm surprised Akiho is calling Juna weak. I mean, yeah, J Juna is small, but being small doesn't particularly make one weak. But hey, all's well that ends well. <laughs> I can't screw this up. I state as I proudly I state as proudly as humanly possible. I mean, I'm... I'm sure it was okay. I mean, he... He... Was... He wasn't negative about it. It's like he, he was actually very... Um, he, he actually welcomed it. On the way home, I had Kai wait for us outside while June and I went to the empty field. I figured I'd talk to her a bit since she was feeling down about her performance. Aw, how nice of Akiho. Like, I'm sure Juna did just fine with her karate, with, with showing it to uh, Sumio. I mean, that's, that's her talent, after all. Things went amazing with Space Candy. They agreed to fund us for 100,000 yen every month from August to February as our sponsor. All right. They finally got a sponsor. That worked. Having Juna do karate. The Super Rinpei move in particular. That's awesome. Which is awesome! <laughs> So, June has nothing to feel sad about. Yeah, so why is she so down? It's like, what's going on in that noggin of hers? I'm sure at some point we will get uh, a perspective from Juna. I just keep wondering when that's going to happen. In fact, she's our savior! Especially compared to Subaru and Fraubo. Uh, that's what I've been trying to tell her for a while now, but... How come, Juna? Aww. I mean, 
you know, with the limitations of it, of this being a visual novel and you're not actually seeing, like, the animation of her karate, I'm sure it was just fine. Her saying that she didn't do anything worth being proud of, I, I don't know. It's... I, I feel for Juna, because uh, I, it's characters like Juna who have inf inferiority complexes like her. I, I just tend to really gravitate towards because I, I, I always feel sorry for those types of characters. And uh, it's like my heart goes out to them and I, I want to see those characters, you know, break out of their shell, bolster themselves up, and actually feel like they are being, uh, being worthy of being proud of. I hope that, uh, I, I sincerely hope that does happen with Juna. That she does eventually become someone worthy being proud of. It's like, I want to see her grow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Juna is adorable, but, you know, Karate isn't really meant to be adorable. So, it's like, with Akio saying that her Karate was adorable, that, uh, that is a little weird, <laughs> to be honest. Karate de kawaii wa ome kotoba janai yo. Yeah, it's like it's not really a compliment, and it's just weird as as a compliment when it's really not a compliment at all. It's it's really the other way around. So, so I mean, Akio's learning. <laughs> She's learning with Juna. I said too much. But it's true that that's the reason why the CEO took a liking to her. はい、てそうそう。ロボブの役に立てたのは嬉しいんだけど。この先ロボブのために私ができることあるのかなって考えたらちょっとそのもやもや。I mean, I can understand that. I mean, she she's trying to find her place in the robot club. And you know, she just recently joined, so she has plenty of time to ease into things. June flashes a lonely smile as she looks out at the horizon over the field. The sun is setting. It'll get dark soon around here. The field we're in sits atop a hill, so there's always a bit of a sea breeze. The pin, the pinwheels spin endlessly. The spinning speed changes with the wind's strength. Time flies as we mindlessly stare at them. That's rather poetic. I have a feeling Akio would say that to the other members too. 
that they were that they were somehow fated to join. Robobu, te ima, kekko, minna kara baka ni sarete ru desho. Kono mae, Robobu wan de jun yusho shita no ni, sore demo anmari hyoka wa kawatte nakute, Kyoto sensei ni me no kataki ni sarete. Yeah, it, it's like they're a ragtag, a group of underdogs. You know, and a lot of people like to root for the underdog in these types of stories. So, let's root for the underdogs here. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're a bunch of losers, Akiho. You're more, you're more like, as I just said, underdogs. So, Jun was a was a jibun kara kenga kuni kite kurete. Shkamo, nubu ste kureta. Hambun kurai wa, uchinga nakitsuite haite morata kanji, arukedo ne. Tony kaku. So you know te, uchi ga robobu ni haitte kara hajimete no keiken datta nda. Eh, de mo, eh to, Hidaka kun ya, Furugori san wa. I mean, there, with Subaru and the Frau, it's like, things are a little different with them. <laughs> ano futari wa, dochi ka te yu to, yeah. V very much so. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I mean, with the Frau. Yes, with Subaru. He was forced to join because of. Kaito unmasking him. <laughs> so, it. I'd say that's a little different. This club is practically made up of people who made deals out of self interest. It's almost like a business network. That's an interesting way to look at it. She probably knows a little bit because of her grandfather. Oh. Akio's sparkling? <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm trying to decipher that. So is she saying that Akiho is you know, just so gung-ho about it that she's just exuberating like immense light? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like that. that's how I want to interpret it. Yeah, yes, uh, I mean, and Akiho has that in spades. It's like her sparkle is immense. Now that's a compliment. Aww. No need to be jealous, Juna. I'm sure as the game goes along that with 
Juna and Akiho in particular, that they'll grow into each other more as friends instead of just classmates. Your dream ended the other day? Oh. So she's saying that her dream was karate. And that ended because she joined the robot club? I mean, that's a... That's a dream that she could still work on while still being in the robot club. So it's like, why is she saying this? Like, she should keep doing karate. There's no reason to really stop. Especially if it's something she's done and really enjoyed doing. からてがダメになっちゃったけど、他にやることないから、なんとなく腰掛けてくらいの感覚だったんだけど。うん。あ、ごめんね。腰掛けなんて言って、セノミヤさんにとっては大事な夢なのに。That's a f pretty good question, actually. I mean, I I mean, with Juna doing karate, she's done that since she was like really young, right? At least that's what I remember. So for it to end just kind of suddenly like that, I mean I would imagine she would be a little sad She was emotionally ready for karate to end. For her karate career to end. So she's ready to move on and do something different. And the robot club is that other outlet for her to, uh, I guess, sink her teeth into. Hmm, alright. Yeah, it, with uh, how gung-ho and, you know, how much she sparkles with uh, her dream being with uh, robots and all, uh, I can see that completely with Akiho. だから、空手の代わりになるかどうかはわかんないけど、寂しさを紛らわす手段にしてくれてもいいよ。It's <sighs> like uh, Akiho is you know, slowly you know, understanding how Juna feels. And that's good. It's like she's She's learning from her, you know, past conversations with Juna. Well, at least that's how I'm interpreting their uh, relationship so far. So, you 
maybe. Or, or maybe not. It's uh, who knows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and now that uh, the Frau has also joined, you can add her into the mix. Although, I don't know if the Frau would actually be up for being part of the Girls' Alliance in the Robot Club. <laughs> It's like, we'll have to see about that, I guess. <laughs> As for Frau Bo, well, we can deal with her some other time. I'm sure she'll warm up eventually to the idea of being part of the robot club. And, you know, warming up to everyone in the robot club as well. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like I'm in some movie about a bunch of hip teenagers or something. <laughs> okay, uh, I could list off a number of different uh you know teen movies <laughs> in correlation with that but you know i feel like that would be a little out of place right now things are finally starting to feel like the high school club experience i always wanted あの、私なんかでよければできるだけお手伝いするね。うん、よろしく。Death <laughs> short for definitely, right? っていうか、今日だけでも他の3人の何百倍も役に立ってもらったしね。I mean, she did uh, agree to go to uh, the Space Candy Company. And seeing that Kaito didn't actually go up to the uh, president's office <laughs> and decided to just eat candy. Yeah, that kind of puts a... Uh, uh, a little bit of a damper on where his priorities are. Okay. Yeah, and Akio should respect that. A hundred percent. <laughs> good, good. It's like, Juno was just way too nervous, and, you know, seeing that she didn't a didn't actually know uh, Sumio, it's like, she was just almost too nervous to actually perform, it seemed. But she, but she did it anyway. Yeah, you know, for I guess for the good of the robot club. That's good. That's good. It's like some girl time bonding here. And yeah, you know, that's I, and I fully welcome that. It's like any kind of bonding, whether it be between girls, boys, a mix of the two. There should always be bonding in these types of stories. <laughs> Presidential. 
えうんどうかな<笑>えー、そこはもちろんって言ってほしかった。Either way, establishing deeper bonds with fellow club members is never a bad thing. Yes. Never a bad thing at all. Sate, Katsno Himo Tenny Haita Kotodashi, Bazo Kayasarzo. Ah, Sonomani, Dokuni Skeo Kaisanakcha. All right. How does Juna feel about going to her grandfather's robot clinic? I'll complete gun build one with or without Kai or Subaru. <laughs>、uh, you, you could just go ruffle their hair later. とりあえず、ジュンにはゴンバレルについて勉強してもらおうかな。全部で155話来週中に見といてね<笑> By the end of next week That's a lot of episodes to get through in a week え<笑> On that note <笑> End the scene Oh Oh Frau You're not looking too good. She looks so tired. When have you last gotten any sleep? Well, it, it only took Frau three days to write a program for M45. That would do it. Not getting sleep for three days? Yeah. t h a t s Sure looks like it. I mean, she is exhausted. Oh, my God. I mean, I applaud her on her tenacity, but、uh, that takes a serious toll on you. On anyone. It's like, boy, she's gonna sleep like. For probably three days after this is all over. <laughs> uh, DEFA, short for default. Okay. <laughs> Never heard default shortened like that before. The initial setting state. Very, very sleepy. <laughs> is that her? Is that their way of conveying that、uh, her speech is a little slurred? So, go mother, won't you dash the credit to a moot than a cut? Well, she did. Jeez, Mega Nigga Choko Makai, she also could it's get a curricula, Irakabe that. Wall punched specs. Wow. <laughs> She punched those specs hard. <laughs> like, almost too hard. But you did. Actually, I, I, I just thought of something. When she created Kill Ballad, how long did it take for her to create Kill Ballad? 
I imagine she stayed up s- like several days in a row to create the, the game. I mean, if she goes this hard for just writing, you know, one program. I imagine that when she created Kill Ballad, oh my god, she put everything, she put her blood, sweat, and tears in the making Kill Ballad. All for the cost of not getting any sleep. Man, I mean... I love you, Frau, but... You know, she's just gonna wear herself out. And she's... Young. She should... I mean... Yes! She has her whole life to look forward to. But... She's gonna burn herself out. It with that kind of uh, mentality, and I mean, it, it it's an amazing worth ethic, ethic to be sure. But at the cost of not getting any sleep, that takes a serious toll on your body. As well as your mind. I, I kind of feel like she's staring into my soul. <laughs> it's like they, they must be on a conference call. Hmm? Uh, okay. Uh, I guess sheeple is first. Uh, combination of sheep and people. Because we need a tip for that. It used to ridicule people who are controlled by media and believe anything they see on the internet. Uh, temp. Short for template. As in a pattern. And... And sundere. I believe that's how you say it. Sundere and not sundere. A girl who is usually aloof and acerbic, soon, but becomes affectionate. Dere. When alone with. Uh, with. Ah, uh, A little tongue died. Uh, when alone with her romantic interest. However, the definition has become more broad recently. I think this is word for word the same tip from Steins Gate. ジュソですね。ここまで来ると。Well, how very uh blunt of you, Subaru. Talented but broken? あなたが間違ってない。she doesn't deny it. <laughs> and she's self-aware. Very self-aware. Somosomo <laughs> Furugori. Kyomo de Konaitz Morika. Just like before, Frau is calling in. I I, I figured it was a conference call. <laughs> that freaking laugh. <laughs> and also, 
her being so close up to the camera like this, it was like a dead giveaway that they were on a conference call. <laughs> my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> it's like they're burning up! <laughs> I can only watch Frau's attempt at acting with a cold gaze. Subaru completely ignores this virtuoso transfer student's gestures and starts to fiddle with his phone droid. <laughs> Sounds like he's bored. It's already connected to M45 via cable. Program no download was smashed mashed. Ato wa M45 yong ni chowsei shi tsu. Toriyaizu sko shi ugoka shite mimasho. Of course, as usual, Kaito will be no help. Yeah, it's like you made a promise, Kaito. Oh, yeah. I guess that was part of the deal. Huh. Yeah, it was. Better follow up on it. <laughs> Truth be told, I was gonna accept her offer either way. Well, that's good then. I, I seriously love that look of the Frau's when she has her hand up to her mouth like that. It's like, it's kind of a seductive kind of look. And honestly, I kind of like it. But there we go. <laughs> and just the big, you know, anime eyes just really add to that. You'll actually uh, open up the door for Kaito? And not just talk to him through the uh, security cameras? I excuse me? Does she realize what she's saying? And why is she fidgeting around and looking all embarrassed? I mean, it does look like she's blushing. So, so <laughs> I swear the Frau has like some kind of you know dirty kind of kink going on in her mind with saying this these kind of things. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> it's like her her kink is uh, pretty broad. It seems. <laughs> I, um, I'm a, now a little worried of where this is gonna go now that she's uh, including Michi into the mix. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Her voice. <laughs> it's like, I love that she actually, like, Im imitated Michi. <laughs> that was too good. Oh my god. 
何言ってんの先生俺にお正気したいならまず勝負しなよ絶対勝てないけどね<笑> If you wanna punish me you gotta beat me first The euphemisms with that line. Oh my god. Like, no, Yashio kun, you cannot. Frau's eyes are totally bloodshot. I think she's gone crazy after staying up for so long. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> is it getting hot in here? Or is it just me? <laughs> well, if you feel like it, huh, Kaito? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, I think on that note, <laughs> I'm gonna stop it here for now. I'm gonna go cool myself off with a bucket of water. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and subscribe to become part of the pack. And don't forget to claw that bell icon so you know when a new video comes out. And as always, everyone, have a great day or night, wherever you may be.